you talk about getting your ducks in a row on a project at work. What about reaching for the low hanging fruit first? It turns out that lingo like this is making millennials and Gen Z workers feel left out at the office. This is new research released by LinkedIn and Duolingo showing nearly half of workers and younger generations feel confused by workplace jargon and had made at least one mistake at work because they just didn't understand a phrase. Let's see what our panel thinks about all of this. Joining me now, media consultant and podcast host Jackie Jordan and author and attorney Jared Adams. Welcome both. And Jackie, we'll start with you. I mean, come on, is it really a different language or is it just part of being an educated worker? You got to learn the jargon. Does Gen Z and millennials, they, they just need to learn, right? Ultimately, this is the silliest uh, LinkedIn survey I've ever heard of. And I'm so, you know, done with everybody's feelings, but it's part of in inclusivity and diversity is generational differences. As uh, a TEDx speaker who spoke about TEDx uh, uh, and a publisher for Culture Shock Surviving Five Generations in One Workplace, every generation comes in with their own lingo. I remember the older generation using the word secretary, and I was like, oh, it's supposed to be assistant. And I myself am guilty of using the word Rolodex. And the younger generation thinks it's an ancient watch. And it is an ancient <laughs> word, but it's, it's not an ancient watch. That's so funny. I mean, Jarrett, Gen Z and millennials already accused um, by other generations of being too darn sensitive. Is this helping their case? Uh, I, I don't think so, but I'll say this. So I, I have a law firm and we have many interns who come in and, and we see that there is this communication gap, but that's not so different than what we deal with as kids with our parents. What I find is more telling is the phone is what is encouraging this communication gap. We text things, we hashtag emoji. We need to preserve the human interaction the same way we preserve extinct animals, rainforest. We need to talk and get together more. That's that's my suggestion. No, so you're, you're saying say fire emoji in person. Do you like that's fire? Don't 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 oh. teams it. Don't slack it. Talk to me, <laughs> um, Jackie. There is another survey. Uh, Australia's leading news site asked Gen Zers what drives them nuts about their boomer coworkers, and they got answers like this. They said using the reply all button too much. <laughs> Our floor director oh, is nodding. Well, because I probably don't want to be outed in, you know, in a group yeah. form. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know also, what? I remember having to uh, uh, grow in my in professionally mature and, and and deal with the sting of being exposed for potentially making a mistake. That's all part of workplace growth. Yeah. You don't come into the workplace with you know instant wisdom, experience, and professionalism. You literally have to grow into it. Mm. And that's just part of workplace culture that I feel that the younger generation is expecting either too much of themselves or expecting too much leniency of the older generation to not kind of go through some sort of growing pain. And I asked my 13-year-old niece in preparation for this segment, I was like, well, what what, what what language do you use? And she says, we say, don't be a, don't be a queen. Could you imagine if I said to somebody in the workplace, don't Yikes. be a queen? That's like an instant oh, trip to God. HR. Like, just, just take yourself to HR as you're sending that <laughs> that message. Um, but, you know, Jarrett, a lot of these changes that they were talking about in this survey, using the reply all button too much, um, calling when something could have been an email, asking questions that should have just been Googled, yeah. isn't this a positive thing, just common sense? Like, even if these are things associated with the boomer generation, these are good things for all of us to let go, no? Again, it, it is the, the, we have a blessing and a curse with the advancements of technology. Where the advancements of technology has made you know things come quicker, it has widened the gap between human interaction and communication. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've come out of a meeting, didn't understand what the boss was saying, and then caught someone at the water cooler who fully explained everything. And so it's just not as simple as sending an email and a text. We need to get together, folks. Humans need other humans, okay? Okay. And adding I hear to you. that, the last couple of years of the pandemic and yeah. the, you know, not working together did not help. Yeah. That. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.